Welcome to the Code's Mysteries channel. I'm Code, and we're playing uh, Decimation X3, or uh, Times 3, or Smiley Face. <laughs> Mischievous Face, I should say. Alright, so let's get into it. It's been a while since I've played this. Uh, so what Decimation X3 is, is it is a shoot 'em up from Zona Games. I got to meet one of the main guys behind uh, Zona Games. Uh, very cool guy. Uh, yeah, there he is, Matthew Dusset. Uh Was a very cool guy, uh, and he hooked uh, hooked us up with a copy of uh, Decimation X3 after uh, one of the shoot 'em up meetups I was uh, at. Um, so basically what this game is, is it is essentially Space Invaders, but uh, it's almost like Space Invaders Extreme, but it's more focused around the raw idea of Space Invaders rather than necessarily getting into like rhythm elements and other stuff that Space Invaders Extreme kind of experimented with. So there's two modes, there's normal and there's challenge mode. Uh, in challenge mode, there's no shields. Uh, basically, you have shields kind of like, um, well, uh, yeah, space invaders. <laughs> so, so, um, but there's actually a trick here. In normal, shields actually kind of make the game harder because you find yourself having to shoot, like, work your shots around the shields, and it's I find it much easier just to straight up just go no shields. So, as you can see, we've started the game. Oh, shoot. Actually, before I get started... Oh god, where's the pause button? I haven't used a 360 controller in a while. Uh, my stream delay is not on. My mic delay, rather. There we go. So, anyway, so we're playing this right now because we were challenged by uh, Sir Sela to play this and get some scores. I don't know what the overall context of the challenge is, just to just to get the best score, I suppose. Uh, if there's a time limit or anything. Uh, but, sounds good to me. It's, it's a good... It's a... Uh, more than enough excuse to play this game, because it's, it's a fun game. It's a fun little uh, game overall. And man, does this game ever shine in four player? This isn't this is actually one of my favorite multiplayer shoot 'em ups. It uh, it's just easy to pick up and play with multi multiple people. There's not a lot. Uh, there's you know very low entry. Anyone can basically kind of get the basic idea of this game. <laughs> uh, score is for the most part based on survival, but it's also based on how quickly you can uh, disperse. Uh, groups, but it's also about picking up uh, the point icons by grabbing as many of those as you can. That also helps. Uh, the number one thing, though, I find is uh, destroying groups of enemies really quickly. The quicker you destroy them, the better. That, I think, was the biggest bonus. Uh, we had a little bit of a score rush uh, last year, just about this time last year, actually. Uh, in this, and it was really fun. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that uh, figured out kind of different little things that help for scoring overall, and because uh, there's little tricks here and there uh, that you can kind of pick up. The game looks really straightforward, and it is, but uh, there is subtle qualities about it which kind of uh, help you score better in it. But, uh, there we go. Grab those. No, shoot. That was kind of a bad setup. That's the kind of stuff you want to avoid because. I <laughs> mean, going for those points. Uh, because you always want your, uh, bonuses to be available for you just to sweep them. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? What is it? Uh, just really solid. It's easy just to pick up and play this for, you know, it's a good time kill. You know what? I'd really like this uh, on a portable device. I think that would actually be really nice too, because I could definitely see myself, you know, when I'm waiting for stuff, just like chilling out and playing around with this. But 
but that said, multiplayer is really where it shines, I think. Uh, when you're playing multiplayer, all your scores are combined, but... Uh, actually, maybe they aren't. No, th no, they're not in this. That's uh, score attack. Uh, Zone of Games is other major shoot 'em up. Oh, Gloss that. That was kind of a bad one. Uh, Zone of Games is other major shoot 'em up. Uh, also, in this game, bullets can be layered in a way that it is impossible to get by them. Uh, it doesn't often do it, but there is situations where it does happen. Uh, this is far too early in the game for it really to come up. But you can see how bullets sometimes are like overlapping each other, which is a factor. But your hitbox is really, really small in this, so you can really weave between stuff very easily. Uh, stuff that looks far too tight for you to weave between, you can often squeeze between, so... And see, now we're in pretty good sh oh, shit. Oh, shoot, <laughs> I went a little bit too far. Actually, that's something else I have to remember is... Uh, what's the button? Okay. Okay, so the shoulder buttons, this actually, <laughs> we played this for a long time, like, just, like, putting up scores on Facebook, and it took us forever to realize, it took me forever to realize that apparently holding the shoulder buttons in acts as slow move, which is super handy, especially for when you need to get between just a couple little bullets. As you can tell, the uh, point power-ups, like, they uh, increase in value every time you pick one up, so it's a really big deal to grab them. But weapon power-ups are really important too, because in particular, what you really want in this is uh, to be able to shoot, basically catch enemies off the edge of your shots, so you can kind of mow them down before they're right over top of you, like so. Uh, that actually plays a really big factor in this game. Uh, so, like, I'm in pretty good shape right now, because uh, I can kind of just trim them. There we go. Cut them off before uh, they can get over top of me. Man, I know, uh, I know if Keed was available right now, he'd be all about playing this right now. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a recording device, but I know he'd be uh, up for a score rush in this. There's not many shoot 'em ups he likes doing score attack in, but this is one that he really enjoyed too. But, uh, yeah. So hopefully the next uh, Health X Scramble is going to be... Uh, be this summer, that'll be really good. I'm looking really forward to it, and we have a few more people that are eager to check it out with us, so. For Battle by the Bridge, I think we'll have a pretty good group. We might have a group of, right now, I would say one, two, oh jeez, okay, I better focus here. <laughs> this is a little bit dicey. Uh, Battle by the Bridge, we might have a group of about six or seven, maybe? Maybe. Might be five or six. Might be five or six. Uh... Oh, that points. The points are, like, progressively, of course, because they increase every time you pick one up. They get progressively more important that you pick them up. Okay, and that... There's also a little trick to the bosses, too. Uh, oftentimes, you don't want to just straight up lay into them with the gun. You actually want to lure them to the corner, then bait them on the long trip. Shoot. Long trip back. I find that's really quite important later on. Dang, this is not the point power up. But for not, for not having played it for a while, this is, you know, this is a good warm up. I'm feeling pretty good. 38 is a pretty good chunk into the game. Okay, I managed to get both those. That's good. It's so like this guy, I'm gonna let him move and then catch him on the way back. And there we go. 
There's a lot of subtleties to go into this game. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, Zona's first game or second game. Actually, I think they have more than... I think they do have more than two games. It's just these are the two that I'm really familiar with. Uh, Decimation X, uh, X3 and uh, Score Rush. Score Rush is typically the one they take to uh, the Halifax uh, shoot-em-up meetups. So, admittedly, admittedly, or the two of them, though, this is my preferred one. I do like this game a little bit better. This is actually a really tough boss because its body is so low that bullets can bullets can spawn out of uh, any. Oh shoot! I touched that. Got a little too close. I still have lives. Okay. Oh, I got lucky there. That was... That was entirely luck. Oh, jeez. There we go. You will... Eventually get to the point where you do miss a lot of stuff because... Of... Yeah. <laughs> because there's so much, but... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright, so... Let's pick this spot where you want to shoot. <laughs> Move back a little bit too much. Okay. Let's see if I can take this out before uh, before the corners. Because what happens? Shoot. What happens at the corners? It, or well, at the edges is they kind of layer their bullets so they get essentially two spreads on the walls. So you don't want to have a boss. Uh, you don't want to be basically under the boss when it's near a wall, essentially. Good example right there of how like small your hitbox is. It actually takes it actually takes a pretty clean hit to kill you in this. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, their next uh, game coming up, uh, Dual T uh, ZF, I think it's uh, called. I think it's ZF. Was it? I applied to like help them with sprites and stuff, but it never panned out into anything, unfortunately. I think the problem was was uh, uh, I what is it? Originally, when I was like, oh, I could probably do the sprite work for it, like I started doing sprites, and it was so time consuming. Just like it was just impossibly time consuming for just one person. I was like, oh no. I couldn't see myself being able to do the whole game by myself for sprites. So what I ended up doing is I ended up coming with, up with this uh, sort of semi-HD art style. Well, it technically is HD, but uh, coming up with that and kind of pitching a screenshot at them of that, but there wasn't really that much interest, so I just kind of let it, let it, uh, let it slide. There's a few tricks early on, but I kind of forget what they were. <laughs> I had I had some good strategies for this game, so I had some good strategies built up. But oh my goodness, it's really good. Oh jeez. There we go. That's unfortunate because that cost me points, but at this point it's so it's very minimal, so. <laughs> There's a bonus for, I think, fast killing everything, but I don't think I have enough firepower really to get that key just yet. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! There we go. <laughs> I think it's for like under 10 seconds there's a bonus. If my memory is correct. a little bit easier. Take out these cherries. Actually, it helps to shoot inside these. Actually, I hated boss names, too, for all of them. And these ones were the cherries. I don't know why. I guess simply because they look a little like cherries. But, uh... Grab that. There we go. That's pretty good. Points. I 
know we've had a few runs over Keats. Uh, I'm kind of curious what scores are on his machine, because I know we've had a few there that were really good. Uh, better than what I have at home. Uh, I think we have at least a couple that we end up like going to like stage 60 or 70. I think the highest one on this is 50. This was the croissant. Croissants spin wildly <laughs> and out of control. I, I like the notion that it's... Mo most of my boss names are based off of food, so that's a, that's a thing. Up to up to a point uh, later on, they become less so because the designs become more uh, more not food. <laughs> yeah. That's that's right there. Like the situation you don't want to ever be in is splitting the group, so it's just like a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other because. They'll fast fall at that point. That's pretty typical to Space Invaders, but it's especially important in this game. What was this one? I think this one was egg. I think it was just like egg yolk. But no, uh, really solid game. I kind of, there we go. Kind of made it work. And this game is so good. What's this one? Oh, this one was fan. I don't. The bottom doesn't make sense. The top does though. The top totally looks like a fan blade. Uh, there we go. Kind of slide in there, grab those. And this totally, <laughs> this is totally getting me in the mood to play shoot 'em up. So <laughs> I could totally like uh, radiant silver gun would really hit the spot right now. <laughs> I think this one I just called Jack, because it's like a car jack. This is another boss that's a little bit tricky because the longer the boss is, the lower they can potentially put bullets on the screen because of the way the bullets leave enemies in this game. Uh, meaning that there's a few bosses which you encounter earlier in the game but are potentially harder than bosses later in the game. Uh, just because of their shape. ran into that bullet just through not seeing it. There we go. I think this one I just called shield. It kind of looks like a riot shield. I probably should have tweeted uh, Zona Games to tell them that I was streaming this. But it probably would have been a good idea. Uh, they've stopped in here before, which is nice. It was nice to see them. So, there we go. Oh shit. Got a little greedy there. Yay, we grabbed the points anyways. <laughs> oh no, my cat's in the hall crying. This one was just an alien. It's one of those things that a lot of little subtle qualities in this game come together to really make a solid, uh, solid shoot 'em up overall. Ooh, shit! That was a bad one. That's a really bad one. Actually, I better let my cat in. It's been so long since I've been playing on a uh, 360 controller that <laughs> that I uh, <laughs> I'm really struggling to find the start button. <laughs> I'm getting kind of used to the PS4 controller where it's like sort of up on the top of the controller, so I keep going looking for it too high. Hey Hayes. Uh...
yeah. For some people, it's definitely like I understand. You know, shoot 'em ups are really stressful, but I like them. They're good. Oh, hey, this is an interesting retweet. Twitch overlay. Now, now I'm looking at Twitter. <laughs> Oh, hey, nice. You ordered a new mic? What'd you order? Uh, I've been looking at mics myself, actually. Uh, I have to admit, like, the Xbox 360, uh, I came into it really late. Like, when I bought a 360, like, it was maybe 2000, 2010? 2011 maybe, uh, and uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised. There was a really good uh, it, for me in particular a really good li a library of shoot 'em ups and uh, and uh, sort of action arcade games. So it really hit it really hit a spot with me. A very solid system. A lot of people don't uh, cut it enough credit. Uh, that said, I do feel like there's been there's been missteps with it. Uh, ooh, speaking of missteps, that wasn't particularly good. Oh, shoot. Okay, cat's like on my lap now, so it's just hanging there. Stage thirty-five. Hmm. I can't remember what I called this one. Film strip? I think it was film strip. Another another really tough uh, boss for oof, there we go. For putting bullets really low on the screen. Ooh. <laughs> That's a little close. Shoot, didn't get over there in time. Wow, the cat seems really into this. I can see this game being really like right at home on like the eShop. Oh, jeez. I don't remember what I called this one. I like the fact that every like that they have a bunch of, like, unique bosses. They're not just throwing, like... Even though it's fundamentally the same thing, it's, uh... different, uh... different, um... shapes. You know, it's something different to look at. Even though they are still shooting at you. Though, the shape does play a factor, because they don't shoot bullets. They can only shoot bullets out of their body, so the longer bosses are harder, but... Okay, I need to focus here. Gotcha. There we go. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I'm curious how, like, what the highest stage in this game is. I assume it's 99, but, uh, I know Zona posted a clip of, I don't know if it was them playing it that ended up getting to that, like, uh, to 99 or what, but I should've, I didn't check out the end of the clip. I watched it for a little bit, but that is kind of the tricky part with the game is, ooh, uh, is it is definitely a game where it's like a big time investment to put down a score because essentially the higher you score the longer you're going to be playing so it's it's like ooh shoot endurance <laughs> endurance uh definitely requires high endurance 
Apparently this is a level record, but I don't think it's going to be a score record. Oh, shoot. I kind of moved in to get the item, and that was that. So, 